alright. Dude, this seat's taking a drag. That's sick. It's like a $5,000 bucket. You better believe it. Oh my gosh, what the heck? All right, bait just hit the bottom and I'm already bit. Oh my God. You already got another one. <laughs> this like isn't fun at all. It's like they've never seen this before. <laughs> oh man. This is not fun at all. <laughs> A little bit better. Heck yeah! Let's see what you got. Whoa! Oh yeah! That's more better. That's a keeper. Today we're targeting whitefish on artificial lures. Uh, prior to this season, I could probably count on one hand how many whitefish I caught on an artificial. Uh, catch them on small little jigs once in a while. Uh, I don't know if I ever caught one on a plastic swim bait, but today we're gonna show you guys how we bust these fish's ass with this squid trex. Pushing the 90 grams today, so uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. Appreciate everybody that's already been tuned in. Got my boy Josh in the house. What's up, Joshua? What's up, what's up? How many white fish have you caught on artificial? Zero. So far? <laughs> All right. Well, this I think is my that's... first cast. First drop with the squid trex. Drop with the squid trex. See what happens. I'm feeling pretty good about your odds. We're gonna show you guys a uh, tackle breakdown. We figured out a couple of lighter setups that have been very efficient. Me catching this poor man's yellowtail. Uh, quite a bit of fun. Oh, we're bad. Oh, I came off. First drop with the squid treks. A lot of bites come on that fall. So I was kicking his ass on it yesterday, but he was fishing it way too aggressively. Like just pop it once in a while. Like thick, like six to 10 inch rips. That's too much. That was like four feet. Oh, squid treks was bit. Oh God. Oh, oh God, oh, there we go. <laughs> On the coffee grinder. <laughs> That's sweet. It's that new C-Core rod. Heavier spinning setup. Thought it might be perfect for uh, that 90 ground squid treks. Hey, hey, first white fish. Hey. Look at that. I think we're gonna catch much bigger ones today, so. It's your lucky day, little boy. Look at that, he's coughing up whole squid. Look at that. Oh. Eh? That Match a hatch. Oh, a thousand percent. That's why you think I'm saving it. <laughs> Just give him the CBRA, he'll cough up some more. Oh, God. We're fishing in less than 200 feet here, so these white fish are pretty resilient. Just like that, quick release. All right, I'm gonna save that whole squid. We're gonna drop that down on a bait rig and see if it gets bit. Anybody wanna guess whether or not it's gonna work? <laughs> it's like a lot of white fish which is crazy. You don't normally catch whitefish on artificial. Yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> oh. You do have to kind of pop them and set the hook a little bit. But that, I actually make it part of my like presentation. Because if you miss them, like you're still working the bait. Like the third fish I ever caught on it this year was a 40 pound halibut. Woo. Biggest really? one I've ever caught. On the squid tracks? Smoked it. Wow. Like hit the bottom, I popped it like this. Then I was oh dude, I'm snagged. And I'm like, oh crap, not snagged, like this. 
That was a pretty decent demonstration. Now, back in the day, people used to tell me a whitefish was a poor man's yellowtail because they actually fight pretty hard, quite spunky. But a lot of the gear that we used when I was growing up overpowered them. So lately I've been kind of fishing this lighter stuff, really enjoying catching numbers of these smaller fish. Look at that, another artificial white fish. You have that treble hook right in the friggin' middle, all three points. That's cool. Makes it fun. Oh, I got, oh, God. Limit on these is 10, 10 a person, but I want them about twice that size. I don't think that's gonna be a problem today. <laughs> two drops, two white fish. Yeah, if you wanna to go to a smaller one just to catch them, I think a big fish would eat this smaller one too. Yeah, I'm gonna try a smaller one. There's, yeah, there's one right there in that side rod holder. Okay. We'll save that for the rockfish. Okay. It's actually pretty fun catching reds on that. <laughs> Caught lingcod here on it too. Oh, no way. This is like pretty much all the way around lower there. Dude, what doesn't eat a squid on our coast? <laughs> they don't know it's not real. Okay, watch. That was my third drop. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, God. <laughs> so once it hits the bottom. Like what, four or five feet little bottom? A lot of the bites will come actually as it's approaching the bottom and that initial sink. And I'll let it kind of just fall to the bottom. Good number of your bites are gonna come on that first drop, dude. I think I got a sheep head. Oh, that's why it was snagged. That's a good fish. What is this? I don't know what this is. But on this light gear, it's fun. Hey, that's the right. Three drops, three fish. It's actually kind of nice to skip the whole bait receiver line and that whole process. Uh, a little bit better white fish. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. I'll keep that guy. There you go. That's a keeper. That's number one. Alright. Nah, uh, actually he's not that big. We'll let you go, bud. But today we're gonna do things a little different. I brought my Yeti bucket here today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as my bleeding bucket slash saltwater slurry pull my fish down immediately. I'm going to fill my Yeti bucket here partially with salt water. Salt does make the freezing point of that water lower pretty crazy we actually experimented uh in minnesota when we shot one of the episodes for dot's boat then threw some rock salt in the ice chest and it was actually freezing uh the blue yo that we were putting in there so i'm gonna fill this thing about halfway up i'm gonna keep uh Keep the ice in there and we're gonna bleed and brain these fish. So we got a couple tools here uh, that I've been using and this has been making a world of difference in the eating quality. 
of a lot of these fish. This is from 30 fathom. I'm just gonna brain this white fish. You can feel him kind of twitch when you hit that brain. And I don't have the EKG May wire, but just braining them. And then taking a pair of these Turner scissors and then cutting the gills on both sides has made a huge difference there. So, got that guy in an ice bath. It's gonna bleed out and then we're gonna transfer him on the ice. And then just hold. Now it looks dead calm out here, but the boat's actually swaying. So if you just hold your rod tip still, there's no way you can actually hold that squid trek still. It's actually still bobbing down there, sitting there perfectly horizontal. His tentacles are waving around, doing their job. I find like my freshwater finesse fishing experience is coming to play here. A lot of bites come when I'm just holding the bait. Let it settle to the bottom, pop it a couple times. Oh God, just like that. This is that C-Core rod, got a 13, I think this is an AL3, AL13, 4.0 size. I wanna say it's 30 pound braid. Got like a 28.9 pound Defiant fluorocarbon leader. Just in case you hook something real. Big halibut, big sheephead. Eventually I think we're gonna start catching white sea bass and yellowtail on this thing. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, nice rockfish. So, unfortunately, we can't keep this great eating fish because we're inside the 300 foot zone. So if I can work quickly to get this guy off, he should be able to swim back down. And if not, we've got a descending device. See how he does. Sometimes you could just poke him, so you still got some life. Why well, don't make me get the whole descending device out? Swim! 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 All right, so that didn't work. <laughs> you got going on, dog. So if you guys are fishing rockfish, you guys have to have one of these descending devices here. Clamp that on. <clears throat> Drop that fish down. It's actually got three settings on there. You can set it at 100 feet, 200, or 300 feet, and the pressure of the water will actually release that clamp. You get that fish back down under pressure, equalized. He's got a much better chance at survival than floating around on the surface having a deal with those guys or the seals.
There it is on the bottom. Tighten your track. And she's good. First time fishing artificials for whitefish? Yeah, it sure is. This will be my third cast here with the squid tracks and uh, I got something heavy here, man. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. How you liking that light gear? Oh yeah. It's like a fish with two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? It's definitely not moving well, if you hook something real, the boys in Australia catch GTs on these rods. No way. Yeah. Dude. What do you got there? No. Dude, you got an awesome sheep head. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. Get the thing in the boat. Ooh. First sheepy on the squid track. Oh, okay. you got your other one. Like that. Those of you guys aren't used to these fish, you can grab them by the eyeball. Yeah, let's get that hook out. Other line just sliced this bait up. You get sorry. Oh, got his first drop. First drop on the squid tracks. Look at that. Nice keeper. Alright, buddy. This job. Great eating size keeper. All right, we're gonna try something here. We're gonna actually take that regurgitated squid I caught out of that white fish earlier. Let's see if we can get one. Regurgitated squid. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, there it is. Is he on there? Recycle bait. <laughs> yep. Full efficiency here. Look at the squid tracks in the rod holder. It's getting destroyed.
good trick. Wasn't even all the way down. <laughs> Pretty fun. Yeah. You had a freaking whale on with that you rod. See that? <laughs> yeah, your your bait rod's going crazy. Yep. I was like, okay. Oh yeah. Nice one, but keep it up off the bottom. That could be a sheep head. Big one. But I am using the four pound. <laughs> That's a nice chucklehead. That sucks. There, I got it. Alright, nice chucklehead. Yeah. Here you go. That's a big one. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Oh. That's sick. One. The rod holder bite. Oh, oh we got triples. <laughs> oh, pull and drag. You got a white fish? All right, dude. This seems to take a drag. That's sick. So I don't know if you guys can see that current behind the boat, but it started ripping. The 90 gram was kind of getting washed out and blown off the spot, so I switched to the 110, and it's cutting through the current a lot better, especially with this light. Uh, braid 30 pound defiant smooth casting braid real thin diameter really lets uh, these baits get down especially when there's current so it's made a little adjustment it's paid off got something pretty nice on here this uh, squid tracks is actually just bouncing in the current What do we got here? Oh, a big old white fish. Really? Look at that thing, it just came up. Oh, dude, get the net. Get the freaking trolling motor. What the hell is that all about? You just spun off. No, no. Oh. What was that? That was yours? Yeah, it, came. Oh. it spun off. Damn, that was a nice one. That was a big one. That was probably the biggest white fish of the day right there. Ah, oh, brutal. So, yeah. Uh, this, uh, this might be a 130. 110, 130. Drop her back. Rod holder bite. These all got to bleed. 
and kill. And the key is you got to bleed them while they're alive. If you wait till they're dead, they're not going to bleed because their heart's not pumping. Gotcha. Probably just unstrap the bucket and carry it back there. And then we can confirm the count. Like a five thousand dollar bucket you better believe it oh my gosh what the heck did i just get sealed <laughs> oh my god thing just got way bigger <laughs> what is these aminals why is, why is this because it's awesome heads up oh, moby whitefish oh dude oh that's a stud Go guys, quality whitefish on the artificial. If you guys uh, want to have some fun all winter long, we've got a year-round fishery for these whitefish. So we can fish them uh, 12 months of the year, catch them relatively shallow on the light gear. Man, what a blast! Pulling drag. Uh, and on top of being really fun to use, it's efficient. Uh, that light braid allows that bait to cut through the current get down to the zone and it's uh it's been non-stop action today if you guys want to come out here and do this uh one-on-one -on -one or with a small group here uh on the pathfinder shoot me an email all over at bigbassstreams.com i am a licensed u.s coast guard approved captain we are doing some personal training sessions on some technical new twists on some old school fisheries check it out Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Oliver Nye. Big whitefish dreams. Is that a thing?